So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and I am here today again to deliver a new tutorial. Today's tutorial is about the drill through function and I am going to show you how to create a drill through report and how it works and what the limitations of it also. This is something that you requested on the power, sorry, on the YouTube community chat. I'll show you what that is in a second. So here it is. Let's see what this drill through feature is and how you can create a video or a report using it. So what we have here is the North Wind data set. I always use this one, so it was quite fun that they use it too, or he or she used it. Again, I don't know who the source is. And um, what you can see here, this, they have a, a report on company, and a company that in this case, the Northwind company, they have sales, expenses, profits, margin, and so on. They have a salespeople report and then profits, and then they have filters here for date, for year, office, etc. Okay, so this is a normal Power BI report. The good the cool thing about this is that, for example, here on the salesperson, we have an employee details report. So we can actually go to say, okay, this person, Michael, sold very little. I want to know more about this person's sales. So I can go to right click on the name, or you can actually right click anywhere on the line and then go to drill through and then employee details. And what this will do is it will go to the employee details report. As you can see here, it will filter by that person's name. So this is a report for Michael only, okay? And here we can actually see how much Michael has been selling. So we see the top 10 customer cities, we see total order product, we see the company name that he sells to, um, Oh yeah, we see all kinds of things for this guy. So how is this done? Okay, let's see that we want to have a customer details. Um, report. And what we want to do is when somebody comes here, if they see a company name, it's like, oh, I would like to know more about this company that we are selling so much to. So they can just right click and then get this drill through functionality. So how do we do it? We go here to customer details and what we need to do is to know what fields are here for that. And we have uh, from the customer Customer table, we have a city, company name, or contact name. So we can use any of these three. We can use company name, put it in there. And once you put it in there, this thing will show up. And this is what allows you to go back and forth through the reports. When you are in the Power BI desktop, you have to control click to go back. But when you are in powerbi.com, it's just enough that if you click, you don't need to control click anymore. Okay. So that's it. I mean, you don't need to do anything more. If we now right click here, you will see drill through customer details. Of course, we need to build a report here, but as you can see, it's already responding to it. One of the things you would like to do is to say, okay, what is this filter to the same way that this is done, right? This is filtered by Michael. We want to know what is this filter by? And that you will do using selected values. In this case, I don't want city, I want company name, thank you. And then if I put that in there as a card, and I will remove that, I can see that this report is going to be filtered by customer name, bottom dollar markets. Uh, let's go back, which is, you see, the one that we picked here. We can put, pick any other. Queen Cozina, sounds fun. Let's filter by that. You see? And now here you just have to build whatever you think that the user would like to see. I can imagine you would like to see 
total sales, perhaps, and total profits uh, per year. Let's put start with sales, we put year. Uh, like that, so you see, oh, we are selling less now than we did before. Uh, even if it's our top seller, that should be a warning sign. No, that was not our top seller. That is another one, right? Our top seller is up here. Let's see how that goes. Huh? You see, year by year, higher and higher. Um, so you see, right? It's very easy to actually do the drill down functionality. Now, you need to be aware of one thing. As you can see here, the sales report is being filtered by year 2017. So this is Michael's sales year 2017. And you might think that, okay, when I go and drill through, all the filters apply here will apply to the next one. And they don't. As you can see, all the years appear. So there will be a filter only on the customer or the employee, I mean, only on the drill through parameter that you specify. So you will have to provide the same filters if you want them to filter by that, and they will have to do it manually. Okay. I'm imagining that Microsoft will evolve that and perhaps we will have like, you know, filters that will, all filters will move along. Um, but there will be cases that we don't want that either. So I don't know how they would solve that. I'm sure that they are working on it. Um, something else. Let's see that I would like to have a drill through to products, right? So I want to say, okay, from this company, I want to know which products this company buy. So you can say, oh, that's easy. I just go in here, go to my product table and I put the product name in drill through and we're good to go, right? So when I come here, I have here a product and it doesn't show up. And the reason why it doesn't show up is because we don't have a product in the list here. If we put product name, you see, it will appear. So let me give this a better name product details. So let's go back to employee and then I come here, drill through, and then I can actually drill through to product details. But if the field is not in here, you won't be able to filter by it. I mean, it has to be visible on the table to, to be able to pass the parameter over. So you might think, oh, maybe I can just put it, you know, instead of putting here on values, I can put it only here on product name, like I have it already, and that might work. It doesn't, okay? You need to have the product name visible on your list to be able to do the drill through. Otherwise, it won't work. And I was actually a bit confused in the beginning. I'm, I'm, you, all my reports now have drill through reports. I can tell you that. I, I, I love the feature. But I was a little bit confused because you actually have to have that parameter in your visualizations to be able to do a drill through. Why? I don't know. Microsoft knows probably. I guess it's the functionality behind or the logic behind that that requires that. Maybe there's a table hidden in the background that that it has to be filtered by. And if that parameter is not there, it, it doesn't. I, I don't know the inner work is on the read through, so I don't know. If you know, please let me know in the comment box. That would be great to know. But uh, yeah, so the, the, those are the two biggest or t things to, to remember when you're doing drill through reports. Number one, only the parameter that you do the drill through will pass as a filter. The other ones will, won't. And you have to have the column that you're doing the drill through in the visualization to be able to do proper drill through. Otherwise, 
works like a charm and it is a fantastic way to explore the data and to actually get users to explore the data too in a very simple manner i mean i'm amazed how how well received it has been because it is so 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 useful so if you have been using the drill through uh, functionality, I would love to hear your comments and to hear what your users or yourself think about it. Uh, it would be great to know. Um, but um, I hope that Microsoft continue develops on it. I love, love, love the functionality. It is fantastic. So maybe more functionality will be in the next Power BI update. Let's see. Okay, so this is all for today. If you like the video, let me know by liking it. Uh, if you know anybody that would like to know about this functionality too, please share it. You have all the buttons down below. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions about this video, uh, let me know in the comment box or the social channels listed below. And make sure you subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, where Friday is dedicated to DAX. So, Final note, click the bell to receive notifications when I publish a new video and have a fantastic evening. Bye.